my study and work requires me to read a lot of uh, heavy essays and articles and books so whenever i want to relax i of course want to read something light and fun which is not you know which is not heavy on the head uh, so when i saw online sayaka murata's uh, convenience store women i saw the bright blue cover and of course the comments and reviews on top which said that it was hilarious it's uh, funny it's weird i immediately bought the book but after i read the book i realized that it's anything but funny it's far from being funny uh, it is weird of course it's weird but it's weird because i could relate to the book uh, a lot <laughs> Uh, the character of Kiko, the protagonist of the book, Kiko, I re quite resonated with her character, the convenience store woman. You know, we might have felt out of place in a lot of situations in our lives. You know, the first day of uh, college, the you know uh, when you you know when you introduce yourself among a new group of people, these things make you feel like as if you know you're an outsider. But what if you have felt this way? felt like an outsider all your life and that's how kiko feels and what if you know what if when you have entered a, a new room and you found everybody else strange but instead they thought that you were the strange one in the room what if you have always felt like an outsider like kiko most of us all our lives try to abide by the rule book of society we are so used to this very and only pattern that anyone who doesn't comply with the standards is deemed unfit for society nobody questions why one would want to stray from the ordinary and live life on their terms society has justifications for all the standard rules you are getting an education doing extracurricular activities getting a job marrying bearing children and then dying you want to do well in school to get a job you want a job uh, but mind you only a particular kind of jobs so that you can sustain yourself okay which is understandable you want to marry because you don't want to die alone which isn't guaranteed by the way although people believe that it is the truth you want to bear children so that they will look after you when you get old this isn't guaranteed either the In Japan, Kiko, the protagonist of Convenience Store Women, is 36 years old, working a part-time job at a convenience store for 18 years. She is happily single. She does not need a partner or a husband. Her family and her friends question her because they all worry that a woman with no husband and no proper job, how will she survive? And they make sure to nag her every step and remind her that she is getting older without a husband and a job. For some reason I related to Kiko I could sympathize with her she was defying the norms of the society I and she feels like an outcast like she does not feel like an outcast but the others around her make sure that she is made to feel she is made to feel like an outcast even if she herself does not feel that there is anything wrong with her you know I don't feel particularly that I have straight from societal norms I think I have pretty much uh, been following the norms and the structures of the society but there's a part of me which sympathizes with kiko which feels which empathizes with kiko actually from her childhood she has always felt different from the kids in her school her friends she never thought that she belonged uh, you know she of course it might be something that the author was trying to say you know regarding her psychological makeup but uh, there is nothing particularly wrong with her in that sense even the author mentions that kiko was being taken to the psychiatrist a uh, couple of times by her parents uh, but they couldn't find anything wrong with her uh, as a child there is this incident uh, that the author writes about that uh, in her preschool uh, on, uh, on the playground the kids they were playing and they found a dead bird uh, and all the kids they were very upset with the dead bird and they decided that they will have a funeral for the dead bird but instead kiko did not feel sad or did not feel the need for a funeral for a bird instead she went up she goes up to her mother and says that mom look here is a bird and maybe we can take it home and eat it <laughs> of course it's it's rather strange and please scary uh, when it when it's coming from a child 
but these are the small incidences where we see that Kiko was a different child and when she started going to the university uh, she joined uh, this uh, convenience store as a worker and it was a part time job for her but that's where she found her true self that's where she came alive you know convenience store had rules and regulations and you just had to do what was required of you there was nothing human about it you know uh, she enjoyed actually she was most alive when she had to do uh, mechanical jobs uh, you know uh, greeting she knew what to do in the store greeting the customers asking what they wanted uh, preparing the food uh, you know the cooked food in the convenience store this was everything which is uh, well planned and prepared she is in very uh, is she's in very much control of those things in her life and that's why the convenience store is the best place for her and that is the reason she stayed there stayed in the convenience store for 18 years there was no one to bother her about a husband or kids or a job in her part time job in the convenience store the convenience store demanded nothing but measured work and she was good at her work she was diligent quick and hard working she does not feel the need to change jobs and but now that she is old old according to societal norms uh, there is no other place where she can find a different well paid job but the sad part is that she kiko herself does not feel the need to change jobs uh, to do anything she is content she is happy with her life but it's the others around her who make her feel inadequate society that makes her think and over and over again that you know she shouldn't be working in a convenience store she should get a quote and quote proper job uh, she should of course get a husband she should have children but she does not feel the need for all of that she is extremely content the workers in the convenience store are all temporary university students working for extra pocket money or homemakers who want to bring home some extra cash or people who are between jobs but kiko is the only one for whom the convenience store is almost like a shrine she is devoted and consumed by the store the store is a comfort place because there is nowhere else where she feels at home the organization of the store means order it means that things can be controlled unlike chaotic and unpredictable our real lives i found the story quite unconventional actually because of the characteristics of this uh, protagonist um and she actually in fact goes a step further to be alienated by the society you know uh, she does not fit anywhere but the store it's funny her char- you know it's uh, in one of the chapters it's quite evidently written that kiko because she knows that others perceive her as somebody different as somebody strange she tries to emulate people around her you know uh, she tries to uh, she tries to copy the people the way people dress in the store she tries to copy a few women uh, the kind of clothes they wear the kind of bags or shoes they buy and this says a lot about kiko because kiko does not personally feel that she needs that particular bag or that particular uh, dress but she in order to blend in the society she does try to emulate people and even uh, how people talk you know she keeps thinking how this person will say in this particular situation and she tries to talk <laughs> like that it's 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 quite strange it's strange but also at the same time it's quite sad because she cannot be her true self a- anywhere uh, although the convenience store gives her some kind of peace uh, even there she of course has to maintain her uh, maintain her human self and maintain uh being a part of the society she only fits with the store's order where everything has a designated place every placement of the item has a logic the cold food is kept outside on hot days and the hot food is kept nearer on cold days on hot days the water bottles sell faster than hot coffee one does not have to think twice why although reading about kiko uh kind of gave me chills Uh, her almost robotic responses and sometimes uh, apathetic reactions but what if she is the only one who is the most human in all of society what if 
the rest of us are only trying to pretend like somebody else what if we are the ones who are pretending to fit in what if kiko is the only one living her true authentic life while we are the ones who are pretending and lying to ourselves and each other just to blend in society and just to make others happy even if maybe we are not ourselves happy i mean this book made me think a lot about the kind of paths that we choose uh, be it in our terms of like profession or personal lives you know the things that we do uh, just to please others mostly to please our family to please our friends to please the society basically uh, so that we 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 remain a part of this society and not get uh, not get thrown out of the system of this structure and it quite often happens in real life as well where if you don't comply to the gender norms to uh, to all the <laughs> norms that there are in the society then there are quite a few chances that you will be outcasted you will be thrown out of the system you will be alienated i think as a society we get really scared if there is somebody different and we try to eliminate that person that creature uh, totally instead of being accepting you know if we see a person who has chosen a life partner if a person if a woman has chosen another woman to marry of course we will outcast that homosexual couple <laughs> immediately uh, if a person decides to follow another religion we will definitely banish that person from our our circle from our society and i think uh, kiko's story where she feels like a stranger the others make her feel like a stranger and she is just trying to blend in the society she is just trying to live her life although people try their best to make her feel that you know that something is wrong with her for living that certain kind of life without a husband without a proper job without you know without kids because she's 36 years old and it's it's late <laughs> for some reason it's late for her to be alive you know basically and yeah i enjoyed reading this book no doubt but uh, I, for some reason there are bits where i also found it like a little creepy because she is again like i i think i am also a product of our society itself so there were like you know i found her conversations a little strange but that's what that's who kiko is that's who she is and so yeah i would definitely recommend it this book to you it's it's quite funny actually uh, not very funny not haha funny but uh, it's quite humorous and so yeah thanks for watching till the end hope to see you next week